Yo, I'm back with another video. How are we all doing today? I'm watching a bit of Stacey Dooley. I've got a new one. Happy Bulldogs. Oh, I, I love Bulldogs. The thing is, they're so stubborn. A bit like blokes, yeah. isn't it? Exactly. Yeah. Like the hearing. Amen, Linda. She's uh, a pilot, Elisha. Meek, she's having five kids, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> is there a pup there, sure, or what? <laughs> <laughs> Shooting it, they had like the camera on the track and the song playing. What song? It's called something about the way you look tonight. Oh, I did. My breath away. And I asked you to be in it. I did. Yeah. It was for his AIDS charity, and then Princess Diana died, so it ended up coming out as the double A side. Um, yeah. You did that? I've never got over it. Over it. That's incredible. I'll never get over that. No, I haven't. I haven't. <laughs> Girl's magic, there's nothing she can't do. <laughs> How did it all come about that you found yourself in East Enders? I was doing Hobby here. That's right, which is rather I have Hobby here's the program, innit? Yeah, yeah, I have my kids. And yeah, I got the program. I come back here because it's near, near where I live. I love this studio. I did Grange Hill here for a lot of years as well. And then I thought I want to do a long running drama so that I don't have to be the actor that's always out of work. And then I, I got Will's. I got going for oh. a part. And when I read the great if you're watching this, Louise, that's what you look like. So I just thought, I mean, I'm just going to go in and do myself. And so I sort of went in and I just said, Look, I know I'm not going to fit this, but I thought maybe find me another part. Uh, and I got, got well, so well with, 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 with Dawn, Treadwell Collins. So we just sat there and sort of created a new part. So it was Shirley's sister. Then they offered me the job. And then about a week later, Dawn ran and said, So, uh, so we can make a gay. But not to not be the little stuff. I remember talking to him and thinking, if we can just make this character be loud, be loud, be loud, be proud, and it not to be an issue, I want to be the one to do it. Stars aligned, it was meant to be. I want to be at the brav. I want to be at the now. Um, well, I am at the, to be honest, but you have to like, I am at the, to be honest. So I literally, um, me and my cousin made something up. I'm going to do it today, at some point. Let's have and then we can film it, I just think. You, soaking pride up. Oh, dear. Pride <laughs> 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 just kept staring. Boys kissing, kissing girls kissing. kissing. People just holding hands. I never saw that thing. People just, like, holding hands. Seriously. I thought... Yeah. yeah. Oh, let's watch Toby and Jessica. A minute, I'm just rewinding it. Not, I'm on Jessica and things. Oh, I could get used to this. Oh, <laughs> oh. oh. oh Lorraine and Toby. Who scrammed Lorraine half repeating on me? Because she's so oblivious to what his behaviour is behind closed doors. She doesn't know that she is pressing all of his buttons, but he can't do anything. <laughs> mm. You know you've ruined me for other men, don't you? Hey? <laughs> Look after him for me. You fancy him, don't you, Lorraine? <laughs> Just tell. What was amazing was the first time we saw the abuse, that was the first time the audience saw inside the house. Mm. <laughs> yeah, that shocked me, that did. <laughs> it kind of pans out, it shows this gorgeous, beautiful home, but then we see this really ugly relationship. So yeah, it was a really, really clever move, and I think that's one of the reasons why everyone was so shocked yeah. when it happened. 
just didn't see it coming at all. Thank you so much. No worries at all. Thank you. I'll be exploring that storyline in more detail later in the show. But first, let's start at the beginning. Well, Toby, talk me through the call, so when you realised you were getting a gig on EastEnders. Uh, it's a pretty sad gig, actually, because I was literally about to do a gig myself that evening. Um, I was in a toilet, in a pub, getting <laughs> changed, ready to do two hours of my food, like, singing his greatest Christmas hits. Brilliant. And, uh, yeah. and then my phone rings, and uh, yeah, I get told that uh, I'm going to be cast in EastEnders, well, Grey Atkins. So put the phone down and go up to an audience of about 16 people, all drunk. <laughs> so I was just there with this little wry smile on my face. Mm. Well, you don't know what I know. <laughs> this is going to be the last time I think. <laughs> that was a very surreal evening. But one you'll never forget. I'll never forget it. I'll never For forget obvious it. reasons. But I was going to say, the audition itself, I mean, me and Jess weren't actually uh, auditioned oh, together. No. So we were paired with different partners. Yeah, you came in really late, didn't you? You came in last, and I remember thinking, like, oh, Let, let's another one. one. <laughs> <laughs> but when I saw you, I was like, oh, my goodness, oh, that's really good. I got the good looking one. The good looking one. one. <laughs> <laughs> you. He is good looking, Shop to be honest. Dress lawyer Gray Atkins first appeared in 2019 and quickly. I thought I was 20. I thought I was 20. I thought I was 2018. You said, ah. Oh. This is. Just... I'm just uh, gonna go jump in the shower. Lucky shower. How about you join me? Oh, you stick. <laughs> <laughs> I could have done more.